Yes, welcome to Bikes of Rye and you join me today on a bit of a random. Uh, the weather is so nice and I thought why don't I use the bike instead of the car this evening. I finished work uh, about 20 minutes ago so I've gone and jumped straight on this beautiful street trip of mine. Annoyingly though what I have done is I have forgotten to wipe the visor on my helmet. In my haste to jump on the bike and get straight out I now have a couple of uh, bug splatters from my previous ride and talking of my previous ride another thing that I'm upset about is I actually moto vlogged that and I went to edit the video last night and discovered that there was poor audio well basically you couldn't hear me talking now I had the microphone plugged in uh, and it goes into a uh, oh let me just squirt through there don't get any other way uh, yeah I had the microphone plugged in and it's into it goes into the uh, GoPro media mod and I think the uh, there was a bug it didn't pick it up so all you could hear was a motorbike which was a shame because it was a fantastic motor vlog but I uh, will repeat that motor vlog uh, another day in the near future and hey listen can you hear my uh, brakes squealing my front pads are starting to squeal again maybe I'm not riding the bike hard enough this actually had a recall and it went in and had the front pads replaced and it wasn't because they were squeaking it was because apparently the previous pads or there was a batch basically out there amongst the fleet of triumphs with uh, Brembo calipers they uh, apparently the backing plate could potentially part from the braking material uh, which isn't obviously uh, a good thought <laughs> you know so anyway here is my first stop I'm actually going to the gym and I'm getting some uh, physiotherapy done on my lower back because it's a problem of mine uh, so yeah and this is the first time I've actually ridden the bike to the gym so I guess I'll just stick it here it should be alright shouldn't it there she is I was worried about you while I was in there but damn I feel good <sighs> Oh, it's still sunny, lovely, yes. And guess what, 32 miles on the range. It's just told me my uh, fuel is low and I always seem to be putting fuel in this bike. That's all I do lately. That's because I love it. Yeah, so I've been having uh, physiotherapy in my lower back. And you know, I have to say, even though I've been having troubles with lower back pain, well, this bike favours my back because I used to have a Yamaha R6 and I've had back pain for a long time and listen I should have had it looked at ages ago but me being me I typically just think things you know if I have something wrong with me I'm just like ah do you know what it'll get better you know I'm somebody that would not go to a doctor unless or literally the hospital unless my arm was falling off that's how I've been all my life but yeah I'm investing now and it's money well spent I feel fantastic but yeah I used to ride a Yamaha R6 and I tell you in that riding position I used to get off that bike and it took me about five minutes to stand straight again but this beauty I could ride this all day and no bother and uh, I actually have some plans now. I'm gonna go meet my uh, mate on his GSXR 600. Uh, but first I need to do one thing. Have you seen this Peugeot 106 here? This guy is loving life, look at it. It's actually, I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's either he's really, really heavy, like fat heavy, or his suspension's gone on the right hand side. The car is slanted if you can see. Let's get outside of him. It actually says Jellyfish Forge on his rear window. Yeah, he's a big old guy. So what I need to do, firstly before I meet my mate, is I want to check the air in the tyres. So I want to go... 2.3 on the front. 
there you go and then 2.9 on the rear I guess it's not going to be completely accurate because now the tire is warm I think I am in the right place if I remember correctly I think it's somewhere here oh there he is <laughs> Yes, mate. How you doing? You alright? Yeah, all good. So nice, mate, to ride around in this weather. You already, yeah. How uh, you got fuel on all that? Yeah. No, I've got to get fuel. Yeah, I just stuck a tenner in my mate. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Has it got a fuel gauge on this? No. Uh, it just comes on with a light, doesn't it? Yeah, when it's like thirty. Start flashing when it's got like four liters, and then it will um, stay on. Doing alright in this uh, brand new tire. I've got about that much to go to lean over. Yeah, but it's still got this like. What's this? Look. Like you think that'd come off. So what we need to do first is fill his bike up as well before we go knocking about together. Yes, mate. You're gonna put diesel in it, yeah. It's all right. You don't ride quick enough yet, mate. Nah. <laughs> do you find that quite juicy? Yeah, ain't too bad. What do you reckon you get out of a tank then? Full, full tank. You must get like over, what, 100, 100, 120 miles? Yeah, about that, yeah. Depends how you ride it though, right? Yeah. Do you knock around everywhere in like second gear? Yeah. That's your problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, You're sitting at 8,000 RPM, aren't you, everywhere? Yeah. <laughs> so I've just had a uh, brand new rear tyre fitting, right? Okay, I might have mentioned it on this vlog, I'm not sure, but I have in obviously previous vlogs. But uh, I just had a look at the front tyre and to kind of work out how much life was left in that. I just assumed that it would be fine. I think, well I thought the front tyre would last as long as two rear tyres. But no, 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 I don't think so. I've looked at the, uh, <laughs> the life left in the front and I'm thinking I'm going to need one very soon to be honest. So, uh, damn it. What can I do? I should have got them done together, man. I should have looked. I think it's because on my uh, previous bike, the R6 I had, it didn't used to eat the front tyre. So these these super courses literally melt. They they just they just melt. I'm surprised how quiet the roads are tonight as well. Lovely when there's nothing in your way and you can just flow across roundabouts. Ah, this is lovely. You know, I'm not racing along. I just lean the bike over and just have fun. Not breaking any speed limits. Yeah, this is it. This is it. I'm not to that guy on the uh, 125. L plates on it. We're all part of the family. We all respect each other. I was that guy one uh, once upon a time. Well, I had a 50cc. I never actually had a 125. I had a 50cc scooter when I was 16. I loved it. I rode it. All conditions. Rain, snow, it didn't matter. And I never had it serviced, I think. Oh, <laughs> there's my mate. <laughs> I'll get up close to him so he can get on camera. He'll love to see himself on the bike. <laughs> he loves it, doesn't he? <laughs> so both bikes are parked up. We have some lady over here singing beautifully. We're in a Hitchin town centre and we might actually have a drink here at Picture and Piano. I'm going to get some photos and then carry on. I might actually have to use the headlights tonight mate, the first time ever. Why on all the time? Oh you can't switch yours off can you? Oh. Alright guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. It's getting dark and I've got a teen advisor on, probably not the best idea to ride. So I'm going to get straight home, but yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please drop it a like. Be very much appreciated and hope to see you on a future video soon. See you later.